Hello dear learner, I, Mr. Sri Krishna Bhaukar from Dalonic Society's Baramati College of Pharmacy, Baranpur, Baramati. Today I am here with a new topic from Pharmaceutical Engineering and that is Flow of Fluid. In this Flow of Fluid, part in, in first part, we will learn about introduction about Flow of Fluid what is fluid, types of fluid and properties of fluid. So after completion of this topic, students should able to define the fluid flow, compare and contrast types of fluid, impart the knowledge of properties of fluid in routine. So now coming to the introductory part of flow of fluid. A fluid is a substance that continually deforms. Deform means flows. A fluid is a substance that continually deforms or flows under an applied shear stress. Fluids are a subset of the phases of matter and includes liquids and gases. In another word, fluid flow may be defined as the flow of substances that do not permanently resist distortion. So to understand this definition of fluid flow, <clears throat> here I want to give an example of solid and liquid material. Actually, as you all know very well, the states of matter, solid, liquid and gases, suppose you are having a solid material in your hand. Suppose that solid material will be the cube. And when you will apply <coughs> shear stress on that cube, that is on that solid material, then solid material will get displaces from one place to the another place. While displacing that solid material, it while displacing that solid material, without changing their shape it will travel some distance but without but without changing the its original shape that means without deformation so according to definition of flow of fluid the solid material will not come under the fluid so suppose in another example suppose you are having a glass which include liquid or which includes water and when you will apply shear stress on that particular glass uh, on that particular glass that is on the liquid then that glass will move from one place to the another place while this movement the material which is present inside the glass that is the material which is present inside the glass that is the liquid or the water flows outside the glass and it will travel from one place to the another place. While this traveling, that liquid changes their original shape. That means liquid gate deforms. So according to definition, the fluid is the any substance in which when we apply shear stress, then this displaces from one place to the another place their shape is changes that is deformation occurs in their shape and that particular atoms or material comes under the fluid flow. So next point is types of fluid. So here is types of fluid. Fluid having various six to seven subtypes such as ideal fluid real fluid, ideal plastic fluid, compressible fluid, incompressible fluid, Newtonian fluid and non-Newtonian fluid. So very first is the ideal fluid. Actually it is an imaginary fluid which does not exist in the reality. A fluid is said to be ideal when it cannot be compressed and the viscosity doesn't fall in the category of an ideal fluid. 
Next one is the real fluid. All the fluids are real as all the fluid possesses viscosity. Newtonian fluids are the fluid which obeys Newton's laws of viscosity. And non-Newtonian fluids are the fluid which does not obey Newton's law of viscosity. Ideal plastic fluid is a fluid after application of shear stress or in, in particular fluid property or sorry in particular types of fluid when the shear stress is proportional to the velocity gradient and the shear stress is more than the yield value it is known as ideal plastic fluid. Incompressible fluids when the density of the fluid doesn't changes with the application of external forces it is known as incompressible fluid while compressible fluids when the density of the fluid changes with the application of external force it is known as compressible fluid so next part is properties of fluid fluid having the six different properties six to seven properties like as the density temperature specific weight specific gravity viscosity specific volume and vapor pressure first one is the density density is the mass per unit volume of a fluid in another word it is the ratio between mass and the volume of a fluid density is denoted by the symbol rho and its unit is kilogram per meter cube and the density is equal to mass upon volume which is measured in terms of kilogram per meter cube. In general, density of a fluid decreases with increase in temperature and it increases with increase in pressure. Viscosity. Viscosity is the fluid property that determines the amount of resistance of the fluid to shear stress it is the property of the fluid due to which the fluid offers resistance to flow of one layer of the fluid over another adjacent layer. In a liquid, viscosity decreases with increasing temperature and in gas, viscosity increases with increasing the temperature. Next one is the temperature. It is the property that determines the degree of hotness and coolness or the level of heat intensity of a fluid. Temperature is measured by using temperature scales. There are three commonly used temperature scales. First one is the Celsius scale or centigrade scale, Fahrenheit scale and last one is the Kelvin scale or absolute temperature scale. Among these, Kelvin scale is widely used in engineering because the scale is independent of properties of substances. Next one is the pressure which is denoted by symbol P and its unit is Newton per meter square. Pressure of a fluid is the force per unit area of the fluid. In other words, it is the ratio of force on a fluid to the area of the fluid held perpendicular to the direction of the force. That is, pressure is equal to F by A measured in terms of Newton per meter square. Next is the specific volume which is denoted by the symbol V and its unit is meter cube per kg. Specific volume is the volume of a fluid occupied by occupied per unit mass and it is the reciprocal of density. That is, specific volume is equal to V by M. Specific weight, which is denoted by the symbol small w, and its unit is Newton per meter cube. Specific weight is the weight possessed by the unit volume of a fluid. Specific weight varies from place to place due to the change of acceleration due to the gravity. So, specific weight is equal to weight upon volume then specific gravity denoted by the symbol s it has no unit specific gravity is the ratio of specific weight of the given fluid 
to the specific weight of the standard fluid. So this is the part one in which we have completed introduction. What is flow of fluid? What is fluid? What is flow? Then properties of fluid and the types of fluid. And remaining part we will cover in next part.